in this video we are going to study the order of operation so if a particular sum has addition subtraction multiplication division which should we be doing first in order to understand that let us understand this example so 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 what we can do is first we can add all the threes together so 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 3 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 so we have 2 plus 12 and that is 14 but we can do the same thing as follows what we can do is we can write the 2 plus as it is and then we can write this 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 as 4 threes are and we know that 4 threes are is 12 as we got 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is also 12 and then we can add the 2 to it and 12 plus 2 is 14. So we saw that the answer in both the cases is the same 14 and we have derived this 4 threes are from this 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. So the question is first we actually multiplied 4 threes are and then we added the 2 to it. What if we first added this um, 2 and 4 and then multiplied a 3 to it? So let's do it. What happens if we first add 2 and 4? So 2 plus 4 is 6. And then if we multiply a 3, we are getting a different answer. We are getting 18. So it is always advisable and it's always correct to first multiply and then add a 2 to it because 4 threes are or 3 fours are actually means 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 and we are adding all the numbers by simply multiplying the numbers and then we add the 2 to it so first we should carry out multiplication and then we should add or subtract the numbers now let us look at this example what is 4 multiply by 5, multiply by 5, multiply by 5? So over here also, we can first multiply 4, 5 is 20. And then 25 is 100. And 105 is 500. Or what we can do is, we can first multiply 5, 5 and 5. So 5, 5 is 25. 25, 5 is 125 and then we can multiply 125 and 4 to get 500 again but we can write the same thing as follows we can write the same thing as 4 multiplied by and 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 can be written as 5 cubed and we know that 5 cubed is 125 as we got in the previous case also and then we can multiply the 4 to it to get the same answer 500 but what if the question is 4 multiplied by 5 cubed and you didn't cube it first and then multiply a 4 but you first multiplied 4 and 5 and then you cubed the result of the answer so let us do in that way first 4 5s are is 20 and 20 cubed so we know 2 cube is 8 followed by three zeros so we get a different answer in fact we get a very wrong answer so it is always advisable so whenever you have exponent and you have to multiply it to some other number it is always advisable to first carry out the cube or the square or the raised to thing and then multiply the result so we have this rule called badmas B E D M A S, where B stands for bracket, E stands for exponents, D stands for division, M stands for multiplication, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. So the rule tells us that first we should always execute the brackets, which means whatever is written in the bracket is to be solved first. And the brackets could be of any of these types. Exponents tells us that first we should solve the brackets and then 
solve all the exponents like the cubes or the squares like 2 raised to 3 or 5 raised to 7 we should carry out all these things after we carry out the brackets and then we have division and multiplication we can carry out the division or the multiplication whichever comes on the left hand side so we should always carry out from the left to the right for example if we have 6 multiplied by 2 divided by 4 so we can carry out the multiplication first also and then the division or we can carry out the division first and then the multiplication whichever is written on the left side so in this case we can carry out uh, 6 multiplied by 2 first and then divide 4 to the answer and then we have addition and subtraction again we can add or subtract the numbers whichever is written from on the left side so we should also execute this from the left to the right for example 10 minus 8 plus 2 so we can carry out the subtraction first also and then add 2 to the result Badmus is also known as PAMDAS where P stands for parenthesis and remember parenthesis is the same as brackets E stands for exponents and over here we know we can either do the division or the multiplication first so over here multiplication is just written before the division and then addition and subtraction and over here also we have addition and subtraction so it is also known by the name of PAMDAS it is also known by the name of BODMUS. BODMUS stands for bracket of division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. But we would prefer BADMUS because E exponent is uh, better than writing O of. Or sometimes even O is referred to as open, bracket open, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. So let us solve the first example. What is 6 plus 3 multiplied by 5. So we know badmus and there is no bracket over here. So there is no bracket. There are no exponential signs. So there are no exponential signs. But then we have this multiplication and then we have the addition. So first we should carry out the multiplication and then we should carry out the addition. So we can solve this as 6 plus 3 fives are is 15. And we know 6 plus 15 is 21. So the answer to this is 21. Now let's look at the second example. What is 10 plus 8 divided by 2 multiplied by 3 minus 11? So again, let us look at Badmus. Since there are no brackets, we are not going to do the bracket spot. There are no exponents. Then we have division as well as multiplication and we can do either the division or the multiplication first but from the left to right. So first of all we are going to go for 8 divided by 2. So we have 10 plus 8 divided by 2 is 4 and then we are going to write down multiply by 3 and minus 11 as it is. And now we have addition, multiplication and subtraction. So we can go for the multiplication part first. So we have 10 plus 4 threes are is 12 minus 11. And then we have the addition and subtraction part left. So we can go from the left to the right. So we have 10 plus 12 is 22 minus 11 as it is. And 22 minus 11 is 11. So this is the final answer. Let us look at another example. What is 18 plus bracket open 12 minus 10 multiplied by 2 bracket close multiplied by 5? So first we are going to solve everything that is inside the bracket. And within the bracket also we are going to look at badmus. So there is a negative sign, minus sign and a multiplication sign. So first we are going to carry out the multiplication sign inside the brackets. So we have 18 plus bracket open 12 minus 10 twoza is 20 close brackets 
multiplied by 5. Now we are going to carry out 12 minus 20. So 18 plus what is 12 minus 20? So we have a positive and negative plus and minus is minus. 20 minus 12 is 8. Sine of the greater one is minus. So we have minus 8 multiplied by 5. Now we have a plus sign and we have a multiplication sign. So first we should carry out the multiplication part. So we have 18 plus negative 8 multiplied by 5 is negative 40 because 8 5 is 40 minus and plus is minus. Then we can merge the signs together plus and minus is minus and we can write a 40 and finally plus and minus is minus 40 minus 18 so 10 minus 8 is 2 3 minus 1 is also 2 sign of the greater one is minus so the answer to this is negative 22 i hope you understood this thank you for watching